Hello everyone, in today's video we'll have a look at the extra functionality and the configuration menu. Let's enter the extra menu by pressing the function and extra key. The first parameter on the list is called the edit slot. By default it is set to selected and it determines the behavior of the parameter editing when there is a slot address on the CV input. When the edit slot is set to selected, the slot affected by any changes in the parameters will be the slot selected. Which means that if I start a pattern and I select a specific slot, I can now start editing it. And the parameter editing will only take place on the selected slot. If we change the edit slot, to triggered, it means that we can edit the different parameter values to a currently triggered slot. So to show you that, let's start the pattern. As you can see, I now cannot just select a specific slot, but I can start editing everything on the fly. It almost functions as CV recorder. Now we can revert back to the original bank. Next we can change the edit bank value from selected to triggered, which works the exact same way as with the slots. This can be a useful feature when you're sequencing different banks with voltages. Next we can randomize a sound, so let's for example select this slot. We can press the random and generate a completely new sound. The same way as for the sounds, we can randomize an entire bank. For example, these are the sounds we currently have. Now we can randomize it. And finally, we have the mute slots functionality, which allows us to mute slots within the bank. To show you this, let's start a pattern and start muting different slots. It is important to mention that the mute functionality works across multiple banks, so even though you are switching different banks, the mute location will still be the same. Now that we have covered the extra functionality, let's go into the configuration menu. This section is used to set some of the machine configurations, which will affect any newly loaded projects, and they will not be saved with it. The first one on the list is called fader. It sets the behavior of the faders. By default it sets to jump, which means that the value of the current parameter will change to the fader position instantly. With the pickup mode, the changes are not applied until the fader reaches the parameter value. Next we have the pod configuration, which has the same settings as the faders. Pick up and jump. Next we have self-tune 1 and self-tune 2. By default they should already be in tune, but if you feel like they have lost the tuning with time or different power supplies or different cases, the operation can be performed. Next on the list we have the fine detent. This one is used to calibrate the position of the faders and potentiometers. This procedure is made at the factory, so there is really no need to touch it unless you feel like there is something wrong. Next we have the tune CV in, which is used to calibrate the CV inputs. This procedure is made at the factory, so there is nothing to worry about unless you feel like there is something wrong. Next we have the reset accent. Once you press it, you'll see a message saying accents cleared. This means that the accents have been set to their default values, such as the destination set to mix 1 and 2, and headroom to 15. Next we have the reset CV assign, which when pressed will reset the assignment of these 6 jacks to their default values. Moving on, we have the set bank sync to on, which will set all of the VCO sync to on on the current bank. All you have to do is press it twice and it will be configured. And the last one on the list is called fader response. 
It fixes the noise of some of the UREC power supplies that can produce some jumps in faders and potentiometers. By default, it is set to normal for quiet PCUs, but if we set it to noisy, it will avoid these step jumps, but it will also have a slight delay when moving a parameter. We recommend using proper power supplies. That is all for this video. Now that we have covered every bit of functionality, you should be able to enjoy Zaps at full extent. If you have any further questions, let us know in the comments and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Have fun patching and I will see you soon.